Roy! It's you, isn't it? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Let me tell you about this dream I had last night. Another beer. Jock! Get down from there! Bad enough you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Listen carefully oh, now. Not supposed to go climbing You'll have to tell this when I'm wrong. Huh? In the beginning, all life came. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Always happy to take your shards. Cursed Karja are honored guests. Makes me sick. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with the Karja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the and hand slavers. of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Killers and slavers. Hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, nor uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. Raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. 
Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. People of the Nora. Old man. On the oh, eve of your He's wearing a focus, just like no. mine. The Karja stands with you. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait! No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. No, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. We might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. 
People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? It's for the God of the Judge. Start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Well, I won't let the Karja Faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. What harm can they do now? Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. 
When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape, then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You were, you were very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild, the motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. We saw you talking with the outside. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. I've trained all my life for the proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Boss. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks.
So, your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? <laughs> Your trophy is shattered, Outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urbala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's no way but forward now! Right there. Just turn around. I can't see! Come on now! Faster! Stop dragging! Hey, gotta keep going! 
She is a brave now. We did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. Oh, 
A gift from the Kill the invaders! Kill the defilers! They're too strong! We can't Bleed stop them! For the shadow. Now, descend while we have a chance.
can take her there is blasphemy! She should be near her mother! No. <laughs> 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 